Hello everybody with you Mohamed El Barmawi in this video are going to talk about the sample switch utility found inside true direction oscillator. This utility will help you to easily switch between samples uh, on the same chart or by opening new charts on your MetaTrader platform. Uh, to make it work all what you have to do is to click on the show samples dashboard will appear with all the available samples and all time frames all what you have to do now is to pick up the sample that you want and you will be directly switched to it so we are now on the New Zealand dollar daily chart now I want to choose the Australian dollar it will pick me back quickly towards the Australian dollar as you can see back again I will choose the euro dollar as you can see back again I will choose 30 minute charts as you can see it is easy to be used simple switch utility contain some options that make using it much more easier for instance I can choose between making the dashboard appear on the main window like this or make it appear inside the true direction oscillator window I will double click the custom indicator uh, uh, parameters and then I will walk until number five number five as you can see symbol button setting and then I will choose to go from the main window to the indicator window now it will appear inside the indicator window and I can use it easily as you can see back again so it is easy now another option that we have is that we can make the dashboard lead us to open a new chart a new chart like this change the current chart and open a new chart so when I will open the dashboard I will ask it to open a new chart so it will open it in a new chart like this as you can see now we have a new chart this was the one which was in and this is the one that we went to okay we can make it back again as you can see we open a new chart wow that's good uh, another utility found inside uh, simple switch uh, another uh, parameter found inside simple switch is uh, that we can choose between adding our list from samples or using the simple list found inside the market watch uh, by default uh, we have a simple list that contain 28 pairs of uh, uh, 4x uh, pairs uh, uh, so this is the list that we add by our hands you can change it by simply clicking on the list control plus a so we choose all the list here I will delete it and then I will begin to add my simples AUD USD and you separate between them using a comma dot comma then NZD USD another comma E U R U S D I have chosen those so I will click OK this is my list now so when I will open the simple list I will not see except those three pairs as you can see okay you can use the market watch how can we do this very simple double click on your indicator go to category number five now choose to switch from the simple list to the market watch as you can see now we can we move to the market watch my market watch contain a lot of samples we can make the number of buttons of inside the dashboard that appear uh, in the row in one row like this be much more bigger all what we have to do double click Turn it back to five. Change this number inside the horizontal low row from uh, one until whatever you want. So let us make it uh, twelve. 
now the list will look much more wider. It is the same, but it looks much more wider. We can change the number of, uh, uh, of time frames that appear. So we can make it appear from one minute until monthly. So you have from one time frame until nine time frames. So when you choose one, this means one minute. Two means five minutes. Three means until 15 minutes and so on. So let me show you this. I will make it one. So I will click like this. So it will be one. Now, if I choose it to be two, it will be two. If I want it to be nine, it will be nine. Of course, we don't have more than this. So if you add it 10, then you will have a error message on you that will appear inside your terminal in the expert. So if I choose uh, something like this, just say that I made it 10 for instance, and then I said, okay. I will have a message and it is telling me parameter was reset to 7 and it tell me wrong input parameter time frame button ma max is a 9 and minimum is 1. Uh, I hope this small video uh, shed up the light uh, on an important utility found inside true direction oscillator which is called uh, simple switch. In the next video, we are going to talk about the channels and how to draw channels with two direction oscillator. Good luck for everybody.